Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to introduce branch type duplexers. There are actually two types of duplexers, a branch type duplexer and balance type duplexer. In this video, I am going to explain about uh, completely branch type duplexer. Branch type duplexer is a old type of duplexer. Okay, before going into the branch type duplexer, now what do you mean by a duplexer? What do you mean by a duplexer? So duplexer is a device which is used to which is actually in a transmission line when we are using a single antenna the duplexer is going to be used. The purpose of duplexer is used is nothing but to separate the transmitting and receiving signals. Okay, it provides isolation between the transmitter and receiver. Sir. Duplexer is a device which is used to isolate the transmitter and receiver when a single antenna is used okay so duplex is nothing but a device which is used to separate the transmitting and receiving sections but this happens when a single antenna is preferred suppose if we are using two separate antennas for both transmitter and receivers we no need to use this duplexer <coughs> so this is the transmitter and this is the receiver the output of this transmitter is connected to one antenna and the same antenna is also using for the receiving purpose okay so when we are using a single and uh, use a single antenna for both transmission and reception we should definitely go for the use of duplexer <coughs> where we need to use this duplexer here so duplexer should be connected at this point to the separate transmitting and receiving signals. What happens during transmitting section, during transmission, during transmission, the signal will go or will travel in only one direction that is the signal will go from transmitter to the antenna. It will not go into the receiver. Similarly, during reception, similarly, during reception, during reception, what happens? The signal will go from antenna to the receiver it will not go into the transmitter that means antenna to the receiver so this is the actual process that a duplexer is going to do okay examples for the duplexers are nothing but your balance uh, directional coupler circulator isolator gyrator all these are different types of duplexers okay depending on the application we can use magic t sometime magic t is also preferred like a different uh, applications if you want to add the signals if you want to subtract the signals uh, or if you want to isolate such type of devices are there lot of applications are there so most commonly circulators isolators and directional couplers are mainly preferred as a duplexing elements now in this unit we are uh, in this uh, video i am going to explain about uh, the old method of duplexer that is branch type duplexer branch type duplexer is nothing but it is a old method okay one of the old methods old method in the duplexing technique see the block diagram if you see this block diagram you can understand how this uh, branch type duplexer is going to be worked this is the transmitting section and see any type of communication any type of radar communication needs three main blocks as i told you one is transmitter here it is another one is receiver and this is the antenna 
okay so transmitter is used to transmit the signal to transmit the signal in long distance whereas receiver is nothing but it is used to receive the signal okay to process the signal for further analysis like uh, to obtain what is the range what uh, time what is the time and what are the different uh, parameters like uh, size and so on so we need to isolate the signal which is going from transmitter to the antenna to prevent the signal in entering into the receiver and as well as the received signal should enter directly from antenna towards the receiver and should not go into the transmitting section so such type of prevention should be done when we are using this okay so it uses two types of uh, uh, gas discharge tubes so they are atr and tr okay so here i will write branch type duplexer is one of the earliest duplexers okay nothing but a old one and it consists of it consists of two gas discharge gas discharge tubes gas discharge tubes what are they gas discharge tubes namely tr and atr tr and atr basically these two are switches okay tr and atr switches so it consists of two gas discharge tubes like tr and atr what do you mean by tr tr is nothing but transmit receive atr is nothing but anti transmit receive okay so tr and atr are two gas discharge tubes so they are used to uh, stop and transmit the signals from transmitter to the antenna and again from antenna to the receiver in this process these two are going to be used okay so when transmitter is turned on the tr and atr discharge tubes are fired fired are nothing but they are switches on that means they acts like a short circuit when they are fired they are acting like a short circuit now i will explain the uh, purpose of this tr and atr tubes in the branch type duplexer with the help of this diagram see here the tr and atr tubes are exactly located at a distance of lambda by 4 from this transmission line okay here also the tr is located at a distance of lambda by 4 from this transmission line and the distance between these two tr and atr tubes is lambda by 4 and the transmission line okay the purpose of this lambda by 4 is at a distance of this lambda by 4 if any short circuit is occurred that is going to be appeared as a that is going to be appeared like a open circuit okay so the transmitted signal first during transmission what happens the transmitter is initiated and the signal will be traveling like this okay and in that case high power what do you, what is the purpose of transmitter transmitter is used to generate high power signal when high power signal passes through this tr and atr they are simply fired nothing but they are switched on they will be switched on when the signal high power signal transmits through this uh, transmission line they will be switched on nothing but tr and atr tubes are fired nothing but they are simply acting like a short circuit they are simply acting like a short circuit this short circuit acts like here open circuit at a distance of lambda by 4 uh, the short circuit appear like open circuit here open circuit here so simply the signal will be going in this direction to the antenna okay and that means as it is short circuited the signal cannot go into the receiver this is the process happening when the signal is in the transmission mode during reception what happens during reception transmitter is completely off state and no such high power signal travels through the transmission line 
during reception the signal enters into this antenna is a very weak power signal that weak power when it goes into this atr and tr they cannot be fired that means they cannot be switched on they simply acts like open circuit at a distance of lambda by 4 as it is open circuit it simply acts like a short circuit here okay and here also it is a short circuit so the signal will be going directly towards the receiver it cannot go into the transmitter because it is having a short circuit at this distance of lambda by 4 okay so during transmission the signal only going towards the antenna from transmitter and during reception the signal goes from antenna towards the receiver so here isolation is clearly provided because of this gas discharge tubes like tr and atr okay anti transmit receive and transmit receive so this is the way how the duplexer branch type duplexer is going to be worked in the next video i will explain balanced type duplexer which is the second type of duplexing method thank you